Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. Uh, in this last video on roller coaster bearing, we are going to talk about chapter 11, 12, mounting and enclosure. This, this video is taken from the book Shakley Mechanical Interior Design and the pictures is taken from the book itself and also from Google Images. So let's continue. Okay, the challenges. What uh, so many methods to mounting anti pressure pictures, uh, which is you know, this design is a real challenge to ingenuity of the designer. Meaning that, in short, you can read all the text. In short, I want to say that uh, there are 1001 problems, challenges to mount, mount a bearing. Okay, uh, those bearing uh, manufacturers they have guidance. Okay, they have guidance. To do and they also have a guideline book guideline uh, guideline book to mount a bearing okay uh, it is said in this textbook it said that uh, this textbook shows only gen general general uh, detail okay uh, when you are working uh, someday you when you are working and dealing with bearing and you want to mounting a uh, bearing uh, it's up to your experience and up to your senior's experience uh, to advise you how to mount a bearing. Okay, so okay, mounting problem. The most frequently you can counter mounting problem is which requires one bearing at each at each end of the shaft. Okay, such a design might use one ball bearing at one end and one table roller bearing at each end or bear bearing, ball bearing at one end straight roller bearing or the other way okay meaning that you can see sometimes for a shaft okay for a shaft you have both this ball bearing okay sometimes one is ball bearing Another one is taper bearing. Okay, sometimes it is a different kind of bearing, roller bearing, roller bearing, and everything. Okay, this is the challenge to you. Sometimes putting, inserting the, the bearing, the shaft into the bearing is also a problem. Okay, uh, inner rings and back up against the shaft shoulder and head in position by round nuts, threaded onto the shaft, outer rings, left band brings back up housing shoulder and also you have the problem with uh, shoulder the shaft shoulder you have learned in the video for the shaft before uh, the shaft also have shoulder you want to put the bearing into the shoulder also is probably a challenges to you okay so the common bearing mounting you can see the picture you can so so also shares in uh, google images for more figures okay. so variation in uh, methods to mount okay there are many variations possible on methods shown in figure 11 20 you can pause back go back to the uh, previous slide on 11 20. for example the function of shaft shoulder may be performed by retaining rings or by the hub or pulley or spacing tubes or rings the round nuts may be replaced by re retaining rings or while washes long in position by screws or doors or quarters or taper pins. Okay. So housing shoulder may be replaced by retaining nut and everything. You can read all this, meaning that all those uh, all those things that you can see in the nomenclature for the bearing, maybe you have to replace, maybe you have to put something you have to be creative in put in inserting the bearing. Okay. As long as the bearing is can fit perfectly is good the authentic method to mount figure 1121 shows authentic method to mounting in which inner races are back up against shaft shoulders as before but no retaining device are required this method of the race are completely retained okay you can see the nomenclature uh, for the bearing for the roller coaster bearing what is uh, the meaning of a race okay uh, basically, it's a race is when inside a bearing, you're the raceway. Okay, inside the ball bearing, there is a 
place where you put the group. Uh, this place is called the reef. This place is called the reef. Uh, this is it basically is a group, and then the ball bearing is inside that, that group. Uh, that is called the race. Okay. Uh, so, with the method of after races are completely retained, they eliminate group or threats which cause stress concentration of a banging and but it requires accurate dimension or exact dimension, exact direction in employment adjusting mean. This method has increased advantage is that the distance between pairings are great. Okay, so problem is the distance. Okay. More pairing, distance at a certain distance that okay. Uh, and then the temperature is rise in Pressure may expand the shaft enough to destroy the bearing. Of course, you remember from the physics the class, if the things are rotated, if we uh, and then become hot, and then material will expand, and then when it expand, it may destroy the bearing itself. Okay. Uh, this is the picture for eleven twenty one alternative bearing mounting. And then two or more bearings on shaft. It's particularly necessary to use two or more bearings on one F on a shaft. For example, two bearings could be used to obtain additional rigidity. Okay. Two or more bearings, meaning that you do instead of put one, one bearing here, one 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 here, you put two here, another one here. Okay, another one. Okay, because you want to obtain rigidity. Increase load capacity on the deliver or shaft. This is the reason that you put two. Okay, you put two bearing at the end, one end. Okay. It's, in either case, it should be noted that effect of mounting is to preload a bearing in an easier direction. Okay, preload. Just like you remember the word preload in the video on screw, where we put the spanner to. Uh, to make it tighter, uh, the same goes to the bearing. We put make it tighter, make it tight so that it doesn't uh, slip away. Okay, this is for the preload. So two mounted mountings, two bearing mountings. Okay, here, for example, and then this two bearing. Uh, figure eleven twenty three shows another. Two very mountain, not the use of washer again. The uh, cone max. This is the washer. This is the washer. This is the washer. This is the washer, and this is the washer. Okay. Okay. Duplexing. When maximum stiffness and resistance to shaft misalignment is desired, pairs of angular contact bearings is often used. To arrangement called duplexing. Du duplexing. Bearings manufactured for duplex mounting have their wrist ground to if an offset so that the pair of bearings is tightly clamped together as preload is automatically established. Okay. Uh, you can read all these things, meaning that the most important thing when to use duplexing is when you want to have maximum stiffness and maximum resistance to shaft misalignment. Of course, when you align, when you put the shaft cannot be certain that the shaft is aligned okay so this misalignment may happen okay misalignment may happen so we want to avoid misalignment okay so use double bearing and this is the arrangement of uh, angular pole bearing the mounting the v mounting and everything Bearings on rotating rings. Bearings are usually mounted with rotating ring or press bit, whether it be inner or outer ring, stationary. Rings are then mounted with a push bit. This permits the stationary ring to creep on its mounting slightly, bringing new portion of the ring into the loop bearing zone to equalize wear. Okay. So preload. Okay. Object of preloading is to move internal clearance, usually found in bearing, to increase battery life, to decrease the sharp slope. And everything just as you re remember the video on the screw in the previous video on the screw what I mean by preloading preloading is that you in that screw you put the 
uh, claim it, you claim it with Vinny Spana to become a title. The same goes for the same principle goes for uh, bearing so that you make it tighter in that shaft so that it doesn't slip away and everything. So, preloading on thread roller bearing may be obtained by mounting the bearing on tapered sleeve to expand the inner ring using interval speed or of the ring, purchasing a bearing with outer ring free shaft over the roller. Okay, bore bearing are usually preloaded by as a load build during assembly, however, bearings in figure. 1134A and B, you can pause the video, go back to the uh, previous picture on 1134. Okay. Uh, below our assembly because of differences in width and inner ring. Always good practice to follow manufacturer picture recommendation, meaning preload is too much. Uh, load will give a leaf layer. Of course, when loading it, it is clamped. It is permanent, will be permanently sitting there, not going anywhere. So if you put extra load, the shaft again will be problem. Okay, the shaft will be problem because the shaft rotating, rotating and everything. It will give the force, extra force, stress about the shaft factor and may may damage the shaft itself. Okay. Alignment, yes, alignment is also a big problem uh, in bearing because the bearing rotates. Just like when you are riding a car, always the mechanic will ask you avoid jumping into the hole. When you riding, when driving the car, you see a hole, you avoid the hole. Okay, because when you jump into the hole, your shaft may be misalignment. Okay, also when you service your car after a certain certain kilometer, ten thousand two thousand kilometer, the mechanic will suggest you. To do alignment for your tire, to do alignment for the tire. This is the same principle because it will over time misalignment will happen. Okay, over time misalignment will happen. So, permissible misalignment in bearing depend on the type of bearing and geometric and material properties on specific bearing. Okay, we should also have a permissible misalignment. Material uh, should be referenced on the specification. Okay, uh, this is a table. Have a table 712, page 371. Give maximum ranges for each type of bearing. If you have the textbook, you can see where is the big table 72. Okay. Bearing life of uh, decreases significantly when misalignment exists. The allow allowable limit. Okay, of course, you can relate this to the your tire, your car tire. Okay. You have to do alignment every now and then. Okay. Additional protection against misalignment is obtained by providing full shoulder. Remember the shoulder, the function of the shoulder, even in the shaft topic, shoulder function is to resist vibration, resist thrust load and everything. One to when when the shaft vibrate, the shaft vibrate, it will stop at shoulder. Okay. Also it, if there is any misalignment at all, good practice to provide a safety factor around two to account for possible increase during assembly. Meaning that if you re can remember some of the equation related, they are you have to put a uh, safety factor, okay, application factor AF uh, in the equation. It, if you are uh, if your bearing is to uh, operate in Condition that you will find safety is an issue, uh, harsh condition, and everything. You just put application better as two, three, or five, uh, two, three, or more. Okay, just to be safe. And then you, you just you will choose in the end. You will choose the bearing we can sustain higher load. Okay. So enclosures, there is to exclude. Dirt and foreign metal to routine replicant, the bearing mountain must include a seal. So, some of uh, bearing have seal. You can Google, you can Google some bearing have seal, some don't have seal. Okay, for bearing they have seal, it is uh, you are uh, this for the purpose of aesthetic value. Furthermore, it is purpose for to protect from. All or all elements, the uh, 
uh, and everything. Okay, for cryopsis may be used in risk duplication and levels. And this is the difference between felt seals, commercial seal, uh, excluded and foreign matter. And this is you can read everything. Okay, as long as you know the function. Uh, uh, sometimes with seal is a little bit more expensive. It depends if you want the seal or not. It depends on where your application. Okay. It depends on your application. If you your application does not need a seal, don't waste money by uh, to buy berry with seal. Okay, if you need the seal, you buy the seal. You buy the berry with seal. Okay. So this is one of the labyrinth seal. I take the picture from Google. Labyrinth seal is especially effective for high speed installation and maybe used for with either oil or grease. Sometimes used with flingers. This is uh, level C, the type of mechanical C that provides a purchase path to help prevent leakage, meaning that some of the bearing inside the bearing is contained grease, is contained oil. You don't want it to become out. Okay. Uh, if, remember, grease, when the increase heating, grease will diminish in the air. Okay. Uh, so, it happens if you can uh, if you have opportunity to open up a seal bearing, you may find in that bearing already have seal inside it, already have grease inside it. Okay, so uh, uh, already have uh, grease inside uh, the seal, the bearing. Okay, so okay, that's all for the video on the topic on rolling contact bearing i hope uh, you will understand i hope i try my best in explaining about rolling contact bearing uh, i hope you can see all those videos uh, 18 19 videos on rolling contact bearing okay uh, i hope it will be benefit you okay so i wish you the best okay uh, thank you very much we will see in the next topic on general bearing so that's the end of the this, on this video that's the end of the topic on roller contact bearing thank you very much